Hi everybody, Eve Brock here from Eve Brock's Florida Realty. And we've had several buyers looking for lakefront property as of late. And many times what we see is lakefront buyers go from property to property, um, just calling the real estate signs and getting a lot of misinformation out there and we sell a lot of land and we've gone through um, a lot of issues that we found and we want to prepare you for when you go to purchase land so that you don't make a very expensive mistake. Um, sitting on a property right now, I'm taking this property in as a brand new listing. Um, we sold this property to the people um, and due to some health reasons they're looking to sell it and purchase a house instead of building a uh, property. But I want to let you know what they've gone through since purchasing it. Um, luckily they got us as an agent and we helped them set up the uh, inspections. When you buy land, uh, the inspection is called a feasibility study and the process with the feasibility study is an engineer is hired and we know who to contact for that. The engineer comes out to the property, he does a uh, core sample where they dig down into the ground and see where the muck is. Now muck is just organic material that's um, not very good for building a firm foundation and if you build on muck then you tend to have foundation problems. So it's important to, if you are building, if you're just purchasing for a long-term investment to hold on to it the, and to resell again, it might not be as important, but it might be important to the buyers that purchase it next. So um, this study usually costs about $400 and you wanna build in about 30 day time period to do the inspections on that property because it takes that long for the engineer to sometimes get everything back. Now not only will he do the core sample but he'll also determine um, where you put your septic system because the septics the drain field um, has to be at least two foot above any kind of groundwater so um, it's either there's enough good land and the, the, the land perks well enough, like it's, um, it filters properly, or you have to add soil to that. Um, there's a, uh, also the elevation of the property. You have to be able to have a house pad and how much of a house pad you need, how high are you going to have to build the property up. It could be $10,000 for a house pad, and you may have maxed out your budget on just buying the land and not realizing this. So that's important. The, the engineer, a lot of people are like, ah, I don't need that, and you know, I can just go down to the building department and whatever. It is important to go to the building department, and um, they've got flood maps there. They've got topographical maps where you can see the lay of the land and make sure you're not going to have water flowing into your house if it's, you know, if the hills are running into your property. Um, so that's what he does. He also um, checks the building department to see if there's any um, uh, flags on the property that there may be skinks or gopher tortoises or wetlands type grasses. Um, and then he'll walk the property and if he sees it then you may have to do some extra steps which we know how to do that and we'll help you through that but if he doesn't see it he can sign a piece of paper and stamp it that there is nothing there and that the building department will allow you to go ahead and build so again that's four hundred dollars usually for that and some very important thing to do um, then, after that, you want to see how does water get to the property as far as drinking water. Are you going to be digging a well, or are you going to be able to hook up to the water system? Now, um, hooking up to a water system could be $3,000. You also are going to need to get uh, electric to the property. And there is a simple step that you can do for that. Um, if there isn't electric lines that run right past the property, you can um, find the closest pole that you can 
every poll has a tag on it. Um, it's a poll number. If you jot down that poll number, you can call Duke Energy or Glades and tell them, you know, where the closest poll, and they can give you an estimate on running a power to your property. And you'll need that to be able to start building. Um, the very first thing, though, that you're going to need uh, probably is to, well, to make the offer. Um, we can help you with uh, finding out what the comparable sales were and help you with financing. There isn't a lot of banks that do financing on land, and it's typical that you're going to have to put more money down than you would on a house. A lot of times land sellers will do some sort of owner financing as well which will give you more leverage when you you know when you need to get the loan to do the construction loan on your house speaking of construction loans we do now have access to FHA construction loans and VA um, which gives you small down payments where you don't have to put 20% down it's always been 20% down or more for construction loans but now we've got those possibilities for you and very specific banks that, that do them. Um, the other thing that's important to get is a survey because if you, you know, if you get a survey, you'll be able to determine if there's any easements that's running through the property. Uh, the title search can find that out too, but you'll at least know where they're at and it'll be flagged out and you'll need that when you go to, to build your house anyhow. A survey on a typical lot is somewhere around 375 to 450 depending on what company does it. But as you get larger acreage or if the acreage is hard to walk, like it's got a lot of woods in it or streams and creeks, it gets more expensive. So um, what we do is we price shop for you and find the cheapest place to go get that. Um, basically, a lot of, I mean, you don't buy land, most people don't buy land every day, but we sell land every day. So try to align yourself, if you're going to buy it, align yourself with an expert because the experts are going to be able to save you money, save you time, and help you from making a very costly mistake because land sometimes can be difficult to sell, especially once you've found out there, there's an issue and then you have to disclose that issue to the next buyers. Um, so that's basically it, um, the little sneak peek, I guess, on to purchasing land and to how to protect yourself. Um, the property that I'm at now is, we're going to be putting it on the market uh, any day now. Um, all this stuff that I just mentioned has been done. The sellers, just to let you know, has spent $15,000 on getting this property ready to build their house. So if you have been looking for lakefront and you want a, a really, really pretty property that's up on a hill on a private road that's kind of windy and curvy and not a lot of houses on it, give me a call. Um, Eat Brock's Florida Realty. My number is 863-446-0908. Thanks so much for watching.